Okay, so we're gonna do pop in rebuild on a snowmobile today. Uh, it came into the shop already all torn apart. So what we're gonna do is install new pistons, rings, um, reinstall the cylinder and the head and put it all back together. So you want to check your ring, uh, make sure that there's not a top or a bottom. Uh, they'll say on there, usually somewhere, usually by this little, by the end of the ring up here somewhere, they'll say top or uh, there'll be an indication or something or something. Like that, and you don't want to you don't want to try to pull the ring too far, just enough till it snaps on there. You get on that first one, and then you're gonna do it again, drop it down to the next groove, just like that. There you go, bam, that one's on, and then rotate the ring around until it gets into that lock pin position right there. There you go, so you know you're in the right spot. And we'll stick the other one on there. Just, just spread it just enough to snap right on there. That way you won't overstretch the rings and make sure they move freely in the groove, you know, until it hits that little notch. So this one's tight, so it's upside down. Okay, so they, these do go on a certain way. Let's see if there's a marking on it. Let's see one. No, I don't, I don't see one on there, but when you had it on there, you could feel that it was tight. So it didn't, the ring didn't want to move in the groove. So, so now it's nice there you go. Now, it's, now you got nice enough room and you can clock it to right where, right into that notch is where the opening of the ring goes. Okay. So now we're going to uh, install the pistons on the rods okay so now we're going to install the pistons on the rods and we're going to you want to you want to be lubing this stuff up um and it doesn't matter how you do it dip your finger in oil lube the bearing up get a little oil filled with a syringe filled with oil if you want um and you're going to use two stroke oil and whatever you're mixing your gas with is the oil you want to use. That way it's the same stuff getting burned. If you put too much oil in the rebuild when you're rebuilding it, when you first start it up, you're gonna smoke a lot more, but it will eventually burn it out. So you, more oil is better than not enough oil. So we're gonna install the clip. Sometimes it can be a little tough. Get it in there, okay, and then make sure you got the piston going the right way. You'll always have an arrow or um, something that says exhaust or something like that is gonna point to the exhaust. So just make sure you get that installed in the right, in the correct direction. Okay, so this piston is all installed here. So then we rotated our crank. We got this piston sitting down now, this rod up. And we got both sides. We got this one wrapped with a rag just to protect the piston from getting banged up in case there's crank moves or something. And then we got our rag in over here so we don't drop anything in the crank. Okay, so uh, we talked about the pin bearing getting oil. We're putting it on this uh, piston pin. Also, the pin itself. We're gonna lube up the pin bores here also you can put oil on all that stuff uh, don't be afraid because it's just going to get burned off anyway and it's two stroke oil so and you want that pin to slide in there nice and easy so when you go to install you can just pop that right in and then another trick is you want to get the piston how you want it, how it goes installed see there's our arrow so the piston is going this way um, it's going to be sitting on the engine like this Okay, this way here, just like that. Okay, so you want to install the, the clip on one side of the piston already. Have that installed. So we're gonna do it on this outside. So it's gonna sit like that. We're gonna push the pin in that way till it hits that clip. 
uh, makes it easier for install. Now you could do that either way. You can put the clip on this side and start from over here if you want. Uh, whatever, whatever way is more convenient for your sled or whatever you're working on, whatever is easier. Okay, so this one is all lubed up. And here's these other washers I was showing you. See, these are on our the side of our pin bearing. Okay, not everything has that. I haven't seen this too many times, so. Take it easy, huh? I'll get those on there. And then that's what's difficult on installing this piston. A couple hands almost. And you just get it in. in just like that. Now. You got everything lubed up and it slides right in easy like that if you didn't have any oil on there it's kind of a fight to get that pin through there so now we'll stick that clip in here and don't get it into these grooves there and uh okay so we got both our pistons on there and uh, now we're ready for our cylinders uh we got our base gasket on there and this gasket didn't have a uh, up or down either it'll be stamped on it somewhere to say up or down didn't matter but it will matter what location like if you have these cooling ports here there's a liquid cooled so it had cooling ports here so that had to be open that has to be in the front and uh, you're gonna start same way when we we're putting pistons on now uh, whatever cylinder you want to start with you want that rod up higher and then the other one down in the engine and then wrap with the rag so it's protected in case you start moving stuff around. And uh, we're going to put some lube around these uh, piston rings. Uh, we're going to lube up our cylinder before we get ready to slide it all on. And uh, this is where it's going to be real important. Make sure your rings are in the right, correct location. Right there where that pin is at in your piston. You want the opening of your ring to be when you go sliding your cylinder on. get it down you want to get the piston the cylinder down you want the piston and the rings in the cylinder before we go to spin it back to our correct location that way you know the rings are all in there and seated in the correct position there we go we'll just rotate it around where it goes and it should just drop right in there we go Okay, now we got the one cylinder on and we're gonna pick up, we're gonna push, rotate the crank around so we can bring this other piston up to the top. Let me get your set down here. Yeah, good idea. Let's pull the pull start. Okay, there. Now we got this one up high. Easier to get the cylinder on that one. Huh? Don't pinch the gas yet. Yeah. Okay, we got the rings lubed up. We got the cylinder lubed up. We got our rings in the proper location here. Okay, now this one we get on, we're not gonna be able to spin our cylinder around because we've got this one on already. So we're just gonna have to put it on in the same direction that it goes. So it might be a little tougher. Okay. Up 
that right in. Okay, so we're ready to torque our cylinder base bolts down. We've got everything finger tight snugged on there. Manifold sitting on there. We're going to go ahead and torque those. And depending on your manufacturer, not sure what your torque will be. Um, if you don't know, safe bet is 20 foot pounds. Um, that's safe for any dirt bike. <laughs> 20 pounds is safe for any dirt bike, snowmobile, stuff like that. And uh, any two stroke, anything like that. Um, and see, he's going in a cross, pat, cross pattern. Uh, when you're doing your torquing, these, these cylinders are separate from each other. They're, it's not a mono cylinder, which means it's not hooked together. It's not one big cylinder. So you got four bolts on each cylinder. So you're gonna tighten one up, go across the other side, tighten up that side, tighten up this side, tighten up this side. That's one cylinder, go the other one. If this was a mono cylinder, one piece, you'd start in the middle and do a cross, 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 cross cross like that um, so now the base is all tightened up let's get our head on so we don't get anything in the engine anymore we don't got to worry about that now when your head has uh your top end has o-rings or something like this i like to stop and check it. i like to put a little bit of uh i don't know what you call this petroleum jelly or something something a little sticky not a whole lot just get it get it onto your fingers just so there's something on there and then get it onto the o-ring so it helps it stick into the groove so it doesn't pop out on you usually they sit in there really nice where there's no stretch on them or anything so you don't gotta worry about that so o-rings on there and set your head on there careful not to knock any of your o-rings back out of their grooves get your uh, bolts on there finger tight and then we'll go and do the torquing okay so we're ready to torque our cylinder head down and I like our base cylinder the head you usually have numbers on there uh, and it'll tell you the sequence torque see that middle one right there there's a one there there's a five on the outside the two is the one next to it so you can start at one of course go to one one two three and so on doing your torque sequence so once you get all torqued up uh, this particular model wasn't a whole lot to take apart to uh, do the top end. So we got the exhaust manifold, we'll tighten up. We got a couple coolant hoses to put on. Um, and that's about it. And we'll see if our rebuild was a success. Okay, we got everything all buttoned up now. Plugs in, wires on, uh, coolant hose hooked up, manifold hooked on. Uh, that's all there is to do on this model. Um, so we're gonna fire it up. Come on, choke. 